Hello, in this presentation, I am going to demonstrate how to address issues related to missing transactions while posting statements in LS Retail. So, as you can see, you might get this kind of an error while posting a statement, which indicates there are some related entries missing and stopping you from posting the statement. For this scenario or this kind of an issue, the underlying architecture have used is like you are you would be having an, a head office database and a store database so all your transactions would be posted in your store database on somewhere on your store server and that would be replicated to your head office database finally the statements would be posted in your head office database to address this kind of a situation there will be some steps we need to follow first we would have to identify what those missing transactions are and then we'd have to have a job to replicate these transactions from the store to the head office database and then we can recalculate the statement and it should post okay let's have a quick run through of this process so first step is i'm going to take you over to the statement and i have recreated that scenario by Run, post the statement and you can see it's in this state so it says that you are getting this error for a missing trans sales entry or a trans payment entry we need to identify what's what's missing so for that this is another thing that's available out of the box and i can just preview this and it says that these three particular entries are missing from the trans sales entry table so it giving the transaction number as well as the post terminal number so what i do is i am going to pull these transactions so i'll start with the first one I, i'll show you how to pull one specific transaction i have already created a job called a pull transaction i have defined here from where to pull so i'm going to pull that transactions from store to the head office database this is my head office database and then i have defined a sub job now what is the sub job the sub job is where you define which particular table you want to replicate now there are some parameters related to this where you can set whether this normal job or by actions by normal so for this purpose i'm going to use normal job with update and add you also can use update add delete maybe if you have controlling master centrally another important thing over here is i need to set the filter I'm going to navigate and I'm going to set the filter. So this is where I'm going to specify which particular specific transaction I need to pull. So I am going to specify the store number, post terminal number, and transaction. These are all part of the spec of the key. So I want to make sure that I'm going to pull only the one specific transaction. So you please keep in mind when you're defining the filter to address the specific primary key. If you see quickly here, this is the transaction one double four. And here is what I have specified as one double four. Coming back to the job, so we have seen the filters. The next would be another important point is link table. So this is just one table, but there could be associated entries with it. Like we are get like a sales entry, a payment entry, income expense entry, coupon entry, cash declaration entry. So these are all associated with the transaction header table. So we can specify these tables over here as a related table, and then we need to specify the relationship with with the transaction header so that can be provided here in filters is where for each of these related tables we are specifying the relationship with the transaction header so if you see for each one of these i have given the filter here or the relationship and the one we are getting an error for is the trans sales entry it's going to pull that total transaction it is going to pull the associated transaction for or uh, the record for the trans sales entry as well all right going to go back from this sub job which is pretty much configured and i am going to run this job what i am expecting now the job to run i'll quickly check in the job monitor it's run and it says that three records are affected and one record is inserted just refresh and close this report and then go back to the statement and do a check transactions again i'll do a preview hopefully there should be only two of these 
earlier there was 144 as well and that's gone since i have already pulled that i'm going to show you another way of pulling a range of the transactions so for 46 and 47 are also part of this so what we can do is specify a range i'm going back to my sub job this is my job i'm going to sub job and just going to change the filter because i want to specify a range of these so this particular filter type and like i'm saying that i want to pull the transactions from 144 to 147 i click on ok and then i'm going to run this job now and okay just quickly verify that does run and you see yes it's run and it says two more inserted hopefully with this it should address the issue with the other two records which we are expecting here in this report so i'm just going to rerun this report and see if those records exist excellent so that's what the output we are looking for here the errors are no more reflected hopefully we should be good to post the statement so i'm just going to try and post the statement and it says hey, there's a difference because of the counted amount is less i'd say okay to that take a few seconds to post that's done it's posted this is how you can address issues related to missing transactions now there may be job which i mean this process could be automated the posting statement process like if you had like 50 or 100 stores it may have been automated it's not available out of the box but a customization would be done and you have would have a scheduler job to run this periodically but then it might fail if you have these kind of issues all right so for now this is what it is there are other ways to approach the same problem as well so if you have any issues or any queries please feel free to reach out to us thank you thanks for watching this archer point video if you found it helpful make sure to check out our website and blog at www.archerpoint.com additionally if you have any questions regarding our products services or information in this video feel free to email us at info at archerpoint.com. Thanks.